Looking good. A little flower bed here. Just planted everything, watered it in. Peppers, radishes and stuff. Kale, collards, lettuce, broccoli, strawberries. Today is June 27th, 2024. I'm at the Red Bank Battlefield Donation Garden. Yeah, I've been working on this with a couple of other certified gardeners here. We got the three sisters. Unfortunately, the third sister didn't show up. Well, she's a little late, but the beans are down here. Corn's doing good. And some watermelon, just to try that out. Beautiful day. There's the Delaware. The Whittall House there. And here's some zucchini. Just put a couple sunflower in here. Two little half rows here, you know, row here. We've got some okra, big sunflower, some, some string beans here, pole beans up this way. Here's a broom corn. Here's a little eggplant down here, doing pretty good. And then tomatoes, of course, looking nice. All different types, beef, steak, cherry, and they're really putting on some nice growth. Should get the first couple in a couple days, actually. So, and the peppers. What do we got? Thai red hot. These are really cool as they kind of just stand up tall like that. Jimmy Nardello's bells. They're nice. Top them off. Got some nice growth on them there. A couple good size bell peppers here awesome strawberries of course a couple extra mexican sunflower tithonia cosmos and we got the cucumbers over here got our zucchini here this is where we had our kale and collards in the cool weather here and then we'll transition back into like beets or something like that so it's looking really good yep kale oregano herbs and all that more lettuce radishes we pulled a couple we left to go to flower more zucchini and then this little centerpiece here. Snapdragons, petunias, alyssum, zinnias, of course. The uh, Spanish flag, these are really, really fun. They kind of just twirl up here like this and then shoot these awesome hummingbird flowers off. Really cool looking, and of course, milkweed in the middle. Okay, I'm up at the front now. This is more like the herb garden that they have here. Well, these are mainly flowers and all, but coming up soon. You see all the herbs that the colonials used to use. Lamb's ear. Or mullen, I think. A big corn cob. All the bees. Here's the herb garden here. All herbs the colonials used to use. There's the Whittall house. Take a quick walk around. This broom corn's getting massive. This awesome little tie dye eggplant. All the little new baby zucchini coming in. My cucumbers at home aren't doing good because they just don't get enough sun when they're small. They just need to stretch up to it, but this is full sun here at this garden here. It's awesome. Little flower centerpiece here. Okay, today's July 15th. It's looking really nice down here. Check out all the growth, little red admiral.
corn's doing good right here. Got a couple nice watermelon down there. Zucchini, of course. Little sunflowers coming up. Got a couple handfuls of okra so far. Let's see down in there. You know, this little centerpiece is doing good. Waiting for the Spanish flag to flower. They wait for shorter days, I believe. Peppers are good. Got tons of harvests of everything. Tomatoes are ready and ripe. Of course, got a whole bunch of them. Broom corn's probably about, this one's probably about 10 feet tall. Couple nice eggplant. Beans, of course, got a nice harvest of beans so far. Got a couple cucumbers so far. More zucchini. I just kind of train them up through these uh, potato cages like this. Keep the leaves inside the thing there. Anyway, yep, cucumbers doing good. Got a couple of them. And of course, all the collards are being eaten by the cabbage whites little butterfly little white little moth butterfly thing but yeah what's going on guys today is august 24th here at the donation garden just did a bunch of pruning and took the cucumbers down but you can see we're on our way out slowly planted a little pumpkin here and we got a new bed for lettuce beets carrots broccoli Swiss chard, things like that, leafy greens. You can see the uh, cucumbers are gone. The strawberry patch needs to be weeded. But anyway, all these Mexican sunflowers doing good. The broom corn, soon to be harvested. Tomatoes are pretty much done. Bell peppers are looking good. And this guy is soon to flower, hopefully. This guy shall shoot out some flowers soon. And little tomatillos, this is really cool actually. The tomatillo plant at my house is literally like this big, but doesn't have any fruits on it. I think it maybe had one on it. Present wrapping around it, I guess. That doesn't really hurt it. But yeah, check that out. And here's the garden, September 10th. Yeah. Still waiting for the Spanish flag to flower, but I guess more towards fall. Tomatillos over here are doing really good. Look at them all. Little lanterns floating around here, looks like. Anyway, yeah, tomatoes are pretty much on their last leg. And peppers, you know, we'll just probably just, you know, tear everything out. I'm gonna harvest this broom corn on Thursday. Today's Tuesday. Just watered this little bed of beets and Swiss chard, lettuce, things like that. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. And we did a big fall cleanup last week. Let us do a little walkthrough real quick. September 10th, about 5.30. I'm actually here to get more swallowtail caterpillars and their food, which is either this fennel right here, or mainly that rue, or dill. I found these on dill plants in the garden. Let's a look at the beds. Here's the butterfly house. 